Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So today, there's not going to be any intro music. Sorry about that. The editor's having the day off. And well, this video isn't exactly one of those videos where intro music would be needed. Maybe. Unless you guys miss it. In which case, you can just go ahead and uh, slap the heck out of me for um, making a bad call. But this is going to be a little bit different anyway. Uh, no video games today. What I'm doing is actually begging for your feedback. Like, no, really. I really, really need your feedback. So if you have never commented on a video, well, now's your time. Uh, what are we doing? Well, trying to pay the bills. And in order to do that, I've been trying to think of various things to do. And okay, granted, I have some things on the business side of stuff that you guys probably wouldn't give two stinks about. However, um, don't put all your eggs in one basket. And I kind of think I can do this cheaply. Now let me tell you what I think I can do. What I think I can do is I think I can make an animated series. Something like Dilbert and South Park had a baby. With cats. Lots of cats. Um, and what you're seeing here is some concept art for air quotes, RevCat. And, um, you know, hey, I'm Revenge, so what's my character going to be named? Well, he's a cat and he's, you know, anyway, RevCat, you kind of get it. So on Discord, I've already been kind of like showing people what's going on here. Then they voted and we kind of like number three. <laughs> Zooming in on him. If you'd like a different number, you should drop a comment. Number six was just kind of playing around. I think he looks like Elvis. The intention was kind of like Yakuza Cat. There we go. Other people like number five. I don't necessarily mind number five, but number three felt like it had a little bit more personality to it. Number one looked like a gremlin, and the other is, nah, not feeling it. Now you're going to ask, what the is up with this? So I'll give you a little bit of backstory. If I didn't live in Singapore, I would probably get a cerebral. Um, unfortunately, cerebrals are banned in Singapore. So, yeah, that's not happening. But it's my favorite cat. So, Rough Cat is basically a fat cerebral. And, um, yeah, he's not really, he doesn't really look that much like a cerebral. I mean, the spots are about as close as it gets. But this is just a little bit of backstory. Pay attention. Rough Cat has a friend, Afro Cat. So, here are some concept art for Afrocat. Um, we weren't sure if we wanted to go with like the 70s mustache or like, you know, sunglasses, something like this. And then, you know, um, hopefully nobody's offended by this. I mean, it is 2020. But you know, like Afrocat has various things that he hides in his Afro. And so one of the running gags is going to be like, if something is needed, maybe he just like pulls it out of his Afro. I don't know. So concept art. You guys can vote one or two. Drop a comment. No, I'm not just trying to like help the algorithm from my channel. I actually need feedback this time. So Afrocat. And the leader of North Cat Rio. I'm sure that that you guys can figure out who this is a parody of. Um yeah, but anyway, do you guys like one or two? I'm really partial to two. I think having just a really fat it's meant to be humorous. Um, you know, character, or as some people politely say it, extra chunky. Yeah, yeah, so there we go. And keep in mind, I actually lean right. So my political views, let's just throw those away for a minute and just have a little bit of fun. So welcome to Grump. Yeah, and um, for all you lefties out there, hopefully you guys get a good laugh out of this. Um, at least that's the intention. And yeah, I think this just speaks for itself. He's going to be one of the few characters, and I just can't pass this up. We're going to paint him light orange with yellow hair. Color coming soon. I mean, like, everything is going to be black and white, except for Grump, who's, who's going to be a light orange. And, um, uh, I mean, admittedly, you watch videos, and Trump doesn't really look orange. I mean, you know, maybe they could put him in a bad light and do the color tone things. I mean, you know, but that's basically media being being naughty but i can't 
pass up the urge because, you know, orange cat bad. I mean, I actually like orange cats. Orange cats are always so friendly. And here we go. Now we start getting to what I hope you consider to be cuteness overload. So basically, RevCat trying to, if it fits, I sits, um, you know, in various boxes. And hopefully this starts to give you a feel and a little bit of direction in terms of where we're going with this. And when I mean me, I've got myself, a concept artist, a vector artist, an animator, and some other people on the team that are actually working with me on this already to kind of put things together. I have a question for you guys in a minute. And here's the adopt me, please. And here's some very, very early um, animation attempts. Um, he's not rigged up yet. And by rigging, if you guys are familiar with animating, you'll, you'll understand what that term means. But um, yeah, anyway, so we're just kind of having some fun, just tossing in some random rigging and just making him wobble and, and stuff like that. So, and this one, oh, sorry, disclaimer, I'm not going to leave it on for very long. It's just basically going to show you guys and hopefully nobody has a seizure. So if you do not like um, flashing lights, if you have any of that like seizure problem, seriously, uh, stop the video or skip it now because the next video or the next little animated GIF, it, it flashes a lot. So yeah, just fair warning on that. There we go. The, um, yeah, that, that isn't animated correct at all, but you know, we're just kind of having fun with things. So with that out of mind, you know, that out of the way, I need feedback on a couple of things. I'm not sure I'm going to fund a whole series on this, um, but I definitely will fund a pilot. And if you guys like it, we're going to do more. Uh, it won't be on this channel. I'm going to start another channel called like RevCat, and it's going to be basically focused on the RevCat Adventures animated series type thing. Exclusively for that, I'm not going to muck it up with, with King of Babylon or other video games. I might shamelessly self-promote on there. I'll probably shamelessly self-promote on there. But it's going to be RevCat, and that's it. So <clears throat> for the pilot episode, I have some ideas. And the, some of them are a little bit more sketchy, politically incorrect, offensive. I don't know. And if you guys are offended by it, please drop a comment because I don't really, I can't read the room. I mean, like, I'm alone. I don't really give two ducks. And, you know, it's like, huh, what do people think? So I've given some feedback to some other people, but, you know, hey, me and all my friends, we kind of lean the same way politically. So it's like the, what they find funny, you guys may or may not find funny. Anyway, without further ado, here's some of the ideas for episodes I have forthcoming. Um, this is off the cuff. So here we go. And you can drop a comment about which episode you think you might like best. Or if you really feel strongly about like any episode that you really hate and you just be like, cancel Rev, kind of let me know. <clears throat> okay, here we go. So RevCat explores a mysterious and spooky addict after hearing stories from Boomer Cat about boxes that give magical powers if you sit in them. Remember? That's one potential. Rev Cat, after eating some bad food, transforms into Chonkzilla, basically a giant cat that breathes fire and tries to destroy the city. Afro Cat has to save the day by finding something to help transform him back into Rev Cat. That's second. Let's call that B. Okay, now we get into some politically incorrect or controversial type stuff. Rev Cat. Black coffee matters. Oh boy, here we go. And yeah, so black coffee matters. The short version on this, and I have a whole bunch of notes on this, is that um, it's kind of a backstory on Smellbucks and their world plot, or their plot against the world to make the world smell like coffee by making it black and from cheap, low quality beans. So RevCat and Smellbucks kind of have this like, feudy type thing and they like kind of battle in the episode yeah anyway so it's kind of a, a play on the black lives matter but we call it black coffee matters smell bucks seattle you know this is kind of the direction it would go but i could easily see it offending some people so your feedback is appreciated 
Skipping on to the next one. Do, 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 do. Reading my notes. Rev goes to school to become a hedge fund manager. Yep. Um, basically making fun of hedge fund managers. Rev Cat joins space military because Eloink and Grump screwed up and pissed off the neighboring aliens. Another potential episode. Rev Cat travels to the future to see what will happen November 3rd. Surprise, because you something something didn't elect a new Supreme Court justice, the rules have changed this year. And that episode just kind of delves into, let's say, leaning right comedy. Uh, Rev gets caught watching kitten cuties. Um, if you have been following any of the Netflix fiasco type stuff, you'd kind of get a reference to this. this it would kind of be making fun of that, sort of. Okay, Revcat meets Dr. Dre to try and figure out why he keeps hearing these funky beats everywhere he goes. I don't know if we'd actually be able to call him Dr. Dre, but we'd figure out something. It would be a parody and meant to be funny. Next one. Revcat meets Joe Reneg and the Squatty Cake CEO, Adult in the Room. And if you read it, it... Anyway, hopefully you guys got that. But yeah, this could turn a little bit politically incorrect as well. And let's see here. Anybody here a car fan? I don't know. So there would be an episode called Introducing Revcat Now in Color, which plays back to um, old TV shows that used to like advertise like, hey, they're in color. And there's also this... Um, YouTube channel, Blinky, where are these guys, this one guy is basically a fanatical engineer, and if it's like one millimeter off, he's going to just like destroy it and, and remake it. I mean, he's 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 serious about precision and stuff like this. And um, it would basically be making fun of him. I'll read a little bit more of my introduction. It says, introducing RevCat, now in color, blink, blink, the color. You know, it's like a few frames of color. It'll flash, and then it goes back to black and white. And then Revcat kicks a spray paint can with a little thought bubble. Stupid as, you know, Binky, who is the um, the car, or I don't know, whatever, their project name. They used up all the damn color. So basically making fun of Project Binky and the engineers over there. Um, and, you know, they took all the color from Revcat. Okay, let's go on to the next one. And this is probably like a character I haven't had concept art for yet. But if you guys are watching um, The Boys and you're paying attention carefully or you've seen the latest episodes, spoiler alert coming. Um, I don't know if it's really a spoiler. It's not a, not a major plot or anything. So the one Australian guy, he's got a dog, a little French bulldog. And that dog likes to duck small stuffed animals. So he has a duck pig not using profanity you guys can figure it out so he has a duck pig and i'm thinking that revcat has a small little french bulldog but it wears a t-shirt of cartman and that it has a duck pig as well so something along these lines you get in the south park reference here and the boys reference and some other stuff i don't know i think i can work it in there that you guys are going to get a good laugh out of it but it could be a little bit PG-13, let's say. Maybe higher. <clears throat> okay, and the next episode, Revcat feels like going to, you know, going to a climb. Strolling around a Saturday afternoon, he passes a park. Meh, boring with trees. Keeps going, and he sees some people playing parkour. Duck that. You know, uh, these people are crazy. Finally, he comes to a cool place, full of yuppies. <clears throat> I mean, trendy. Um, and the new little place has a climb wall. So he waits in line, and he's just basically waiting in line all day, and he gets pissed off because, anyway, something like this. And I have a few more episodes, ideas that I could play with, but I think that's enough for now. Let's call this Season 1 Potential Episodes, and if I miss something, hey, feel free to, you know, say, hey, 
this might be interesting. I think you guys kind of get an idea of the direction this goes. So everything is on the table at this point. And all feedback is welcome. Love it. Hate it. Let me know. Any episodes you think are good ideas or really bad ideas? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm pretty dense. So that's what this feedback is for. But yeah, uh, that's kind of like introducing the concept of RevCat. Let me know what you think. Anyway, love you guys and that's it. Bye-bye for now.